Hello there. Some of us have the increasing chance of seeing a few wintry flakes falling from the sky over the next few days. We've actually already seen some of those across Scotland this morning. The rain showers that were in place yesterday increasingly fell asleep into the evening and into the early hours of this morning they've been turning to snow even at lower levels. It's all due to a cold plunge of air coming directly down from the Arctic and that'll be sweeping its way across all areas of the UK during the next 24 hours. Ahead of that though, there are a couple of cold fronts just slowly pushing their way southwards. This will bring a legacy of cloud, particularly to Wales, central southern areas of England today. Can't rule out the odd spot of drizzle around at times, but there'll be a few brighter sunnier spots to watch out for, particularly into central Scotland as we head into the afternoon. Further north, in combination with those showers, there are some very strong winds around at times, severe gales for Shetland today. While temperatures will only be two degrees Celsius, it's gonna feel even colder than that when you are exposed to the wind. And with those strong winds and the snowfall, that does bring the risk of some blizzards around at times as well. Further towards the south, temperatures just around where we'd normally expect them to be for this time of year, that's seven, eight degrees Celsius mark. But the cold air in Scotland is gonna to continue to push its way southwards as we head into this evening and overnight, actually helping to clear out some of this cloud. So skies will be turning increasingly clearer for all of us. Underneath that though, it is gonna turn very cold indeed. With surfaces and roads turning frozen, there is the risk of icy stretches at times where we see those showers persisting overnight for Northern Ireland and Northern areas of Scotland. But for all of us, it is gonna be widely frosty. Temperatures even in our towns and cities will be as low as minus two, minus three degrees Celsius. So do be prepared to get the ice scrapers out first thing on Monday morning. The greatest chance of seeing some snow on Monday, though, is for those regions that are still exposed to that northerly wind. So again, northern Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland, particularly County Derry, County Antrim, seeing some snow showers. Some sleet showers maybe for Western Wales, far southwest of England, and some snow just skirting the far eastern coast of Yorkshire down into Norfolk as well. But head further inland, it will be very dry and with plentiful amounts of crisp winter sunshine as well. Still feeling cold, though. Temperatures only seeing as high as one, two degrees Celsius at best. And if I turn on the feels like temperatures, you can see it's actually gonna feel sub-freezing for most of us, particularly along those eastern coastal regions where you're still exposed to that very blustery wind pushing its way down the North Sea. So if you step outdoors here, it is gonna be feeling very bitter and very raw. The frost will quickly return as well as we head into Monday evening and overnight into Tuesday. So a very another cold night for all of us. Again, the risk of some icy stretches where we do see those snow showers continuing as well. Into Tuesday, we have the potential to see some slightly more organized areas of snow and rain moving its way in due to this system pushing in from the northwest. It's where it's moving into the cold air ahead of it that we potentially see it starting to fall as snow in time. These are the warnings that have been issued for Tuesday. For Northern Ireland, at the moment, it looks like it could be a bit more of a transient rain-snow feature. The warning currently up until nine o'clock on Tuesday morning. For Scotland, Northern England, down into parts of Northwest Wales as well, though the warning is enforced throughout Tuesday. Again, the snow potential, particularly for areas of Northern Scotland, the higher ground parts of the Southern Uplands and the Pennines, throughout the day for lower levels of southern Scotland's northwest England down into northwest Wales as well again it could be a bit more of a mixed phase precipitation what we'd say that mix of rain sleet and snow mainly sleet and more rain towards the lower level parts as well do keep up to date with the forecast though certainly something to keep an eye on for and we'll keep you up to date with all the latest warnings as well because there's further snow and ice risk as we head throughout wednesday and thursday as well keep up to date on our social media channels and subscribe on youtube as well and we'll see you again here very soon bye, -bye.